In the Carolina Kitchen today, the smokiness of bacon and the perfect cheese make carbonara a favorite on the menu at many restaurants. And in just about three minutes from now, you'll be able to set uh, yourself up to serve it at your home tonight. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Michelle Gerbel, the executive chef over at the Chop House, is here with us. And she's already got bacon in the pan, so you know this recipe is going to be good, right? Yep. So what are you making for us? Bacon smells amazing. Um, I'm making a uh, pasta carbonara today. Okay. And um, it definitely has bacon. But this is really a great recipe because you can twist it up a little bit. Um, today I'm going to add some mushrooms. I've added fresh peas before. Lightens it up a little bit. Also has butter in it. And this recipe's been around for a long time. Oh, yes. Okay. Very long time. And then um, you add your heavy cream. Oh, and heavy cream. Butter and heavy cream. Yum. <laughs> okay. Then we got lots of Parmesan cheese. So once your cheese is all melted, you want to add your pasta. And today we're using fettuccine. Okay. So. Is that typically what you like to use? Does it matter? Um, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. And just break it up a little bit. And then just when you know that everything's well combined, you take a beaten egg. And just one egg? One egg. Okay. Well, um, we, today I'm doing one egg because I'm only making half a batch. Gotcha. But the recipe will tell you exactly how many eggs. All right. This is only a half batch? We're doing half a batch. Oh, wow. That's a lot for a half batch. Yeah. This is like <laughs> okay. a single, this is what we serve a single serving of. Oh. At the restaurant, yeah. Well, then you're going to have leftovers, I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty filling. Okay, so then right then, when your cheese is all melted, then you want to take your egg, which is beaten, and you just toss that in. And it's not going to make scrambled eggs. No, it's not, because you turn your heat down, and it just makes, it thickens it a little bit. And I mean, Yum. it is so good. <laughs> it looks so good. It's a cholesterol nightmare, but that's okay. <laughs> awesome. And that's it. That's it. And you can said you can add some, if you want something green in there, you can add some peas. Yep. You can put grilled chicken on it. Yeah. Uh, today I added the mushrooms. So. Today was mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Today's mushroom day. All right. Well, you guys can do whatever you want at home, but very simple recipe. We made that whole thing in just a matter of a couple minutes there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Pasta carbonara. Look at that. It looks fantastic. Add whatever you like at home for you and your family. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.